What would you do if you saw someone you thought you left behind on your flight? Imagine the hustle and bustle of an international airport, a melting pot of emotions and stories. Amidst this maelstrom, we find Thomas, a security officer who's the epitome of diligence. His mission? To ensure the safety of every passenger. On this day, his routine was disrupted by a curious incident involving an elderly woman, Mrs. Evelyn. She seemed disoriented, unable to produce her boarding pass. Concerned for her well-being and with departure time ticking closer, Thomas made a difficult call. He gently steered Mrs. Evelyn away from the boarding gate, ensuring she wasn't on the flight. As the plane ascended, Thomas couldn't shake off his unease, his thoughts still on the elderly lady he had left behind. With a heavy heart, Thomas watched as the plane took off, leaving Mrs. Evelyn behind. As the plane took off, Thomas settled down, still uneasy about the incident. The engine's hum and the murmur of passengers failed to soothe his troubled thoughts. The image of the elderly woman, Mrs. Evelyn, whom he had escorted off the plane, lingered in his mind. He had done it for her safety, but the look of confusion on her face remained etched in his memory. Mid-flight, the call of nature beckoned Thomas. He rose from his seat, excusing himself from the curious eyes of the passengers. Inside the bathroom, he splashed water on his face, hoping to wash away the lingering unease. As he stepped out, wiping his hands on a paper towel, a familiar figure across the aisle caught his eye. His heart seemed to stop, his breath hitched in his throat. There, exiting the other bathroom, was Mrs. Evelyn, the woman he had so diligently prevented from boarding. How was it possible? How could she be here, on this very flight, after he had personally seen her off the plane? His mind raced, thoughts whirling in a chaotic dance. Had she snuck on board? Was she in danger? His heart pounded in his chest like a drum, each beat echoing his rising panic. The passengers around him faded into a blurry backdrop as his focus narrowed on the elderly woman. Mrs. Evelyn seemed unfazed by his shocked expression. She began to approach him, her steps slow and steady. A knowing smile played on her lips, the corners of her eyes crinkling in amusement, as if she were privy to a secret he was yet to uncover. His heart pounded in his chest as Mrs. Evelyn approached him, her words ready to unravel the mystery that had taken hold of the flight. The mid-flight surprise was about to take a turn he never expected. Mrs. Evelyn, with a comforting smile, began to speak. I hope you didn't worry too much, dear. I had my boarding pass all along. My twin sister, Elsie, was the one you met earlier. She came to see me off and got a bit turned around. Her words echoed in the cramped space of the airplane aisle, turning the atmosphere from tense to jovial in an instant. Thomas, the diligent security officer, stood rooted to the spot, his mind racing to comprehend the situation. The elderly woman he had escorted off the plane was not Mrs. Evelyn, but her twin sister, Elsie. The mix-up was so extraordinary, so unexpected, that it left him dizzy with disbelief. The passengers, privy to the unfolding drama, watched with bated breath as Thomas swayed on his feet. The truth was indeed stranger than fiction. Overwhelmed by the revelation, Thomas fainted right there in the aisle. When Thomas came to, he found himself surrounded by amused passengers, laughter echoing warmly around him. There was Mrs. Evelyn, her face creased with mirth, offering him a hand up. A few other passengers were there too, their own smiles a mix of concern and amusement. The tension that had previously hung heavy in the air had dissipated, replaced instead with an atmosphere of camaraderie and shared humor. Thomas, still a little dazed, accepted the help and rose to his feet. He glanced at Mrs. Evelyn, her twinkling eyes meeting his, and couldn't help but chuckle at the absurdity of the situation. The rest of the flight passed in a blur of laughter and storytelling, the strange incident transforming into a shared anecdote that brought everyone closer together. It was a day Thomas would never forget, a day he learned that sometimes a simple misunderstanding can lead to an extraordinary situation.